Hey everybody, Mark here. I want to show you a cool project I've been working on. I'm about to go to the Bahamas and I want to take some really cool time-lapse videos. This is a rig that I 3D printed and designed to take some really cool time-lapse videos over distance. Uh, this unit is considered a cable camera trolley and it is motorized. It does have a small DC motor at the top, you can see it actually spinning right there. It is a 6 volt, 6 RPM DC motor that's traveling on some parachute cable. It's driven by a small rechargeable battery, and I chose the rechargeable battery because I chose the rechargeable battery uh, because I already had this in my GoPro case and I wanted something um, that was standard that I actually could plug right into. So I have a USB plug going right into it. At the top, there is some eye hooks right here and here. Um, those eye hooks are used to help the uh, trolley travel along the cable and giving it kind of direction. Um, I also designed this with only one drive wheel and all of the weight sitting on top of the drive wheel. I feel like this is really important uh, to put all the weight on, on one wheel. And so this hopefully will give me the ability to actually travel this camera up at angles. Um, I did do some testing. I was able to travel at about a 20 to 30 degree slope with a taunt cable. Um, so that will give me some really cool videos. Uh, again, this is a, this is a trial. Uh, this is just a prototype. Um, I'm going to make some new iterations um, and try to make it better. But if you guys, guys have any ideas or want to uh, redesign it, please feel free. I'm going to post uh, the 3D files online. Um, one thing that I did notice about having a single cable, it's great because you have one cable um, that you have to stretch, but the problem is that you do have swaying. If you can see the camera, the camera is swaying a little bit. Um, I think I'll be able to re remove this in post-processing, um, but it's not a guarantee. Uh, so I think with the next design, I might have some way to counteract the sway, maybe use the battery. Um, so when it starts swaying, the battery might help to dampen the sway or to use a longer bolt um, in this assembly right here. So there's actually a bolt that goes from here straight down um, into, uh, into the GoPro tripod mount. Um, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I'm going to cut away now and show the video that I took after post-processing and show you what this little rig can do.